I'm a 3D shape expert. Hi, I'm Jared. And I'm McKenna. And we're going to show you how to find the lateral area, surface area, and volume of a cylinder. A cylinder is a non polyhedron that has two circular bases. And the axis is just another name for the height. The formula to find lateral area of a cylinder is pi times diameter times height. To find the lateral area of the cylinder, we have to find the diameter first. The diameter is 3 inches. The second step is to find the height. The height is 9 half inches. Since the diameter is 3, you plug in 3, and since the height is 9.5, you plug in 9.5. Pi times 3 times 9.5 is 89.49 inches squared. To find surface area of a cylinder, it is pi diameter height plus 2 pi radius squared. Since we already know the lateral area, you plug in 89.449 plus the base area. To find the base area, you do 2 pi, and since the radius is half of the diameter, it would be 1.5 squared. After calculating the surface area of the Pringles cylinder is 103.62 inches squared. To find the volume of a cylinder, it is pi radius squared times height. Since you already know the radius, you plug in 1.5 squared and then you add the height since we already know the height of the Pringles which is 9.5. After calculating the volume of the Pringles cylinder is 67.12 inches cubed. Since this one is taller but this one is wider, which one do you think will hold more than it? The diameter of this cylinder is 3.5. To get the radius, you divide that by 2, which is 1.75. The height of this cylinder is 5.25. Since the radius is 1.75, you plug that in, and since the height is 5.25, you plug that in. After calculating, the volume of the salt cylinder is 550.44 inches cubed. After calculating, the Pringles has a bigger volume, which means it holds more than the salt does. Since we already know the diameter of the salt, you plug in pi times 3.5 times 5.25 to find the lateral area. After calculating, the lateral area of the salt cylinder is 57.73 inches squared. Since you already know the lateral area, you plug that in, which is 57. 0.73 plus 2 pi radius squared. Since we know the radius is 1.75, you do 2 pi 1.75 squared. Adding that all together, the surface area of the salt cylinder is 76.98 inches squared. I'm a 3D shape expert.